Okay, ready to begin. So taking a little bit of time to settle into your posture. Seeing if you can adjust so that the body feels able to come into ease as far as is possible today. Accommodating any limitations that our body may have. And then gently becoming aware that our body is breathing. Noticing the sensations that we call our breath, which may show up in the belly or the chest, at the nostrils. We can feel as if we're being massaged from the inside by our breath. So seeing if we can guide our attention to find the present moment, immediate feel of breath moving through us. Beginning to release our entanglement in the thinking world, letting the past go, letting the future go, letting any opinions about the present go. And instead, just really feeling this body, this breath, resting on this earth.
And of course, our mind will be up to all sorts. More than likely, we'll be getting lost in thinking over and over. So we just notice this is what minds do. And see, see if we can return again and again to sense of our breathing body. We can feel as if our whole body is being breathed from the inside. Even the skin is being breathed. Noticing again and a mind getting carried away and coming back. Back to the body, back to the breath. And seeing if we can also soften and bring warmth and kindness. There's an atmosphere around our breath. Just a suggestion of this warmth and kindness and sometimes that feels very far away sometimes we have days where warmth and kindness feel very far away and if that's the case for you then just acknowledging that nothing wrong these ups and downs are how it is but we can bring an intention for warmth and kindness just an intention. So maybe we can imagine that we're very gently listening to the rhythm of the breath within us. Imagining that we can listen to ourselves Listening to ourselves by listening to our breath. Maybe we can continue to listen to our breath and to ourselves as we listen to the poem. So as I drop the words in to our awareness, listening to how they land and to what response comes from inside you. Just in the same way that you've been listening to the breath. 
And this isn't a craning forward to listen or a trying to get something listening. Just a receptive, gentle inclination to listen inwards. So this poem is called, How I Became a Warrior. And it's by Jeff Foster. Once I ran from fear, so fear controlled me. Until I learned to hold fear like a newborn listen to it, but not give in. Honour it, but not worship it. Fear could not stop me anymore. I walked with courage into the storm. I still have fear, but it does not have me. Once I was ashamed of who I was. I invited shame into my heart. I let it burn. It told me I am only trying to protect your vulnerability. I thanked shame dearly and stepped into life anyway, unashamed, with shame as a lover. Once I had great sadness buried deep inside. I invited it to come out and play. I wept oceans. My tear ducts ran dry. And I found joy right there. Right at the core of my sorrow. It was heartbreak that taught me how to love. Once I had anxiety, a mind that wouldn't stop, thoughts that wouldn't be silent. So I stopped trying to silence them and I dropped out of the mind and into the earth, into the mud, where I was held strong like a tree, unshakable, safe. Once anger burned in the depths, I called anger into the light of myself. I felt its shocking power. I let my heart pound and my blood boil. Listened to it, finally. And it screamed, respect yourself fiercely, now. Speak your truth with passion. Say no when you mean no. Walk your path with courage. Let no one speak for you. Anger became an honest friend, a truthful guide, a beautiful wild child. Once loneliness cut deep, I tried to distract myself and numb myself ran to people and places and things, even pretended I was happy. But soon I could not run, run anymore and I tumbled into the heart of loneliness and I died and was reborn into an exquisite solitude and stillness that connected me to all things so I, was, so I was not lonely, but alone with all life. My heart, one with all other hearts. Once I ran from difficult feelings. Now they are my advisors, 
confidants, friends, and they all have a home in me, and they all belong and have dignity. I am sensitive, soft, fragile, my arms wrapped around all my inner children, and in my sensitivity, power, in my fragility, an unshakable presence. In the depths of my wounds, in what I had named darkness, I found a blazing light that guides me now in battle. I became a warrior when I turned towards myself and started listening. I became a warrior when I turned towards myself and started listening. So really resting with any impact from the poem. Just gently continuing to listen, listening to our inner response. See if we can listen while also feeling ourselves resting here, grounded with the breath. And then when you're ready to, you can just come back to simple awareness of breath.
And just aware of any feelings, any remaining resonance from the poem. Maybe aware also of how you are today and what you've brought with you from your current life moment. Letting all this be here alongside the breath. See if we can listen to the wholeness of what's here right now within us. And then opening up our awareness so that we're not only inclining towards what's within us, but also feeling the space around our body and the existence of life happening, the world, and we are in the midst of it. In the midst of it, in a moment of stillness. And we're going to move towards the end of the practice. So just letting go now of any focus at all, just sitting and releasing any feeling of trying to get somewhere or do anything. And dedicating our practice to our deepest potential. Our deepest potential for wisdom and compassion, joy. And dedicating also for the same in others. Deepest human potential to show itself in widening circles. <laughs> 